Hello, everybody. Welcome back to lesson two of HTML in one hour, brought to you by John at onehouracademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to take you through installing Aptana Studio. Now, this program's free, open source, and it's a very high potent development tool that a lot of high end developers use. Now, for our purposes, it's almost like we're taking a Ferrari to the variety store and getting milk and coming back. We're not really going to be putting Aptana through its paces like a pro. But even as beginners, this program can really help us a lot in developing basic web pages. Now, if you prefer to continue doing this in Notepad like we did in the first lesson, it's a much more stripped down way to go. You're welcome to do that. But I'm hoping you'll agree that using Aptana is going to really help us a lot in the long run, and it's going to save us a lot of time. Plus, it's free, so why not uh, download it and give it a try? So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Aptana.com, the website that hosts the program. And um, there you're going to hit the download link. Now this is what the page looks like as of this recording. It might change over time, but basically the address will always be the same. When you click on the download link, it's going to take you to a download page. Now you'll notice on the page, again, as of this recording, there's a place where you are asked to fill out your name. It turns out you don't have to do that. So when I installed it, I went through the process and I skipped that part, and it still let me download the file. So if you're you know, concerned about privacy or you just don't want to provide your name, you don't have to do that. But hit the download link. Take a look at this file. It's going to take a while for this to download depending on your internet speed. It's almost 150 megs, so it's a fairly big substantial program. So be patient. It'll eventually download and, and when it does, you're going to see something like this. So it'll light up with the icon. And then you can click that and open it and begin the installation process. So the next slides that I'm going to cover will take you through the screens that you're going to see as you install. Now, if, if you're watching this and installing at the same time and downloading, then you may want to pause this movie until your installation is ready to go and then resume it and we can kind of go through the next screens together. But this is what you're going to see. Obviously, the first thing is a welcome screen. Now, again, if you've installed software before, there's really no surprises. It's pretty straightforward, but we'll just go through it to make sure that you get all of the steps right. So you want to hit the next button on the welcome screen. You'll get the licensing agreement, which you should always agree to. Like every program, Aptana wants to make a home for itself in your program files. And I just left it uh, as that default setting because uh, that works for me. And I do that for most of my programs. So you'll hit next on this option here. This is the default. OK, and again, like other programs, it always wants to create uh, a home uh, start menu uh, option. So I, again, let it do that so that I can find it with the start button later on. OK, it also asks you what kind of files do you want this program to work with. Now, I chose all of them, even though in this lesson we're not going to work with all those different types of files. Who knows? Someday if you become a professional website designer, you'll want to use Aptana to work with all of these different types of files. So I just, I just checked them all off for now and, uh, and proceeded with the next step. Once you install, or sorry, once you answer all those questions, you're ready to go, you click the install button and, and then it just does its thing and it installs. Okay, when you're done, it's going to say completed and it's, it's ready to go and then you can hit the close button and you're ready to start. Okay, and then you'll be able to find it under start programs Aptana. Now when you're running Aptana for the very first time, this is the screen you're going to see come up first. And what this means is Aptana wants to create a home for all of the projects that you're going to do through Aptana Studio. So, and, and what it wants to do is under your My Documents folder where you've got many other things saved, it's going to create its own folder within there called Aptana Studio 3 Workspace. Within that folder, it'll eventually create different folders for the different web projects that you want to work on. So I, I chose that and I checked off use this as the default and don't ask again. That way later on if you do want to go looking for your web projects you'll always know to come into here and you'll find all of your work in this one convenient place. Now the other thing you're going to see the very first time which is a little bit hard to understand and I'm not really going to explain it because it goes beyond the scope of this course but you're going to see this thing that pops up talking about git support and obviously if you're a beginner you have no idea what that is so um, I would suggest you just check that off and don't want to be asked again. Um, even if you do that and you hit OK, it's going to try to configure it. It could take a few minutes. Um, at some point, if you want, you can just hit Cancel, and you can bypass that as well. And then it won't bother you about this uh, any longer. 
So I'm going to stop this PowerPoint show and we're going to switch to live view and create our first simple web page similarly like how we did it in Notepad, but I'll show you how much easier it is to do it in Aptana. So hold on to your seat and we're going to come back with a live shot of Aptana Studio. So this is Aptana Studio Live and what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project. So if you click up on the File button and go to New, and there's different kinds of projects we can select, but we're going to choose the web project for now because that's what we're trying to do. And when you do that, it's going to ask you for a project name and a template. So first we'll choose the default template. On the next screen we do a project name. Now whatever you type in for your name here is going to actually be a folder created in the Aptana Studio workspace area. So we're going to call it test and that will create a test folder and then we're going to hit finish. What's going to happen next is an editor window is going to open up and we're going to be able to start creating our web page. But before we do that, we're going to click over to the project explorer and then you'll see the test project there. We're going to right click on that test project and we're going to choose a new file. We have to give our file a name, so we're going to call it index.htm. Index is the special name that you give to the page that you want to be your home page. By default, web servers look for index.htm as the home page. So if this is going to be the home page of your site, call it index.htm. Click Finish, and then you'll get to the, to the web editor. Now, Aptana Studio has a default color scheme of black background and white lettering. Personally, I prefer a white background. So what I'm going to do before I start is I'm going to go and change the color scheme. And there's a, a, an option called Matte Classic, which gives you that basic white background with, with black and blue lettering. So I'm going to do that to make it a little easier for me to do my editing. You can keep it on black if you prefer that. But I'm going to switch mine to white just to make it easier for me to see. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with our basic opening tag, which is HTML. Watch what happens as I start to type this tag. This is what makes Aptana a very powerful web editor tool. What happens is the suggested tags come up and it'll go looking for the one you want. Press enter when you find it and it'll finish typing not only that tag but the ending tag as well. Saves a lot of time. Let's try that again with the head tag. So I'm going to start typing head and then you'll see it come up as a suggestion. Press enter and you get the end. Press enter again to open that up. Inside head will do the title tag and press enter on that to get the finishing tag just like so and open that up now we're going to go below head and we're going to do the body tag the same way start typing it and it'll come up with a suggestion just choose it and press enter and there you go so we're going to go inside the body section and just type our first sentence the same as we did with the first lesson so we're going to just say this is my first web page but you see how much easier it is to do this in Aptana than it is in Notepad. You'll see in a moment even just saving it and previewing it is a lot easier. So go ahead and save this file. Just File Save. And then you'll see a green play button that we can use to preview this. Now Aptana Studio defaults the browser to Firefox. If you want to change it to something else, we can cover that in a future lesson. But just wait a moment and Firefox will appear automatically and your web page will load. And there it is. So you can see once again how Aptana is a much easier and quicker tool to use to create websites uh, rapidly. So that's it for this lesson. This is John from One Hour Academy. Thank you for watching. In our next lesson, we're going to actually create a two-page complete website. Hope to see you back for that, and bye for now.